I'm just waiting for loading the models and hopefully. Hello, I'm awake. Yeah, so <laughs> it looks like it, it works. Well, stop, stop. I'm sorry, but I won't be available on Monday. Why? <laughs> Why not on Monday? Hey everyone and welcome to the second video about my project called Lazy Dog and in this video I would like to take some things further and give the dog more capabilities rather than just showing you like in the previous video or making some kind of an introduction of what is this WaveShare WaveGo robot, how can you remotely control it and so on and so on but still nothing really fancy was happening there hopefully this time something more interesting will happen let's see actually what will what will come out of this video so since everyone is speaking about ai about llms these days like chat gpt gemini mistral you name it and also ai agents are quite popular these days where ai can take actions on its own and i thought what if i could give some kind of LLM model its own body in this case in the form of this robot dog and see what will happen but before we move on to the architecture which I'll mention a bit I will show you briefly the code maybe in the next videos I can go more thoroughly I will also show you what changed physically in the robot and last but not least probably the most exciting part we will just demo test it live just running the robot, running the script and seeing what will happen. I had a few conditions. First of all, I didn't want to use the public API because of the privacy concerns. And second thing was that I also didn't want to connect my credit card or anything like that. Just spend the money on the paid model like ChatGPT API or whatever. So that's why in my case, I just used first open source multimodal model that I could find on the internet, but probably you can exchange it with any open source multimodal model that you can run on your local machine. But still, probably if you would like to build it on your own and use some kind of external APIs, it should be possible. Yeah, but going back to the robot, let me show you what changed. First of all, as you can see, it has this speaker here because I want to give it speaking capabilities. And how I did it, I just found some old Bluetooth speaker. Well, it doesn't look very pretty, but it just does its job and it's fine, I think, for now. So I just taped it here to the robot, actually under the robot. So here is this control board inside. It's powered with Raspberry Pi here over the USB cable. And also it's connected, the sound is connected with this jack audio cable, also connected directly to the Raspberry Pi. And this is how it works. Technically I could leverage the Bluetooth module, but I just wanted to keep it simple and see if it works. So maybe in the upcoming videos. And the speaker is here. If you ask me why such a position well, I thought the, the robot is quite tall and quite narrow, so maybe it will even maybe increase a bit the stability. Also, I can see that even though it's lying on the, the speaker, it can still use the full range of the movement. Plus, it can lower a bit the center of the gravity. So still, again, there is a slight chance that maybe it could improve the um, the stability, maybe not, probably not that much, but anyway, I thought it would be nice position. Anyway, so that's all about the robot, about the changes in the robot. So now it can, it can speak. Uh, unfortunately, there is no microphone directly attached to the robot because we will see soon that I will also speak with it. So I will just use the microphone located in my own computer. Yes. So I think with that, we can move to the to the architecture. I can show you briefly how it works and also go a bit over the code and then the testing time. Okay, and here we are in the architecture first. 
So few words, how it works. First of all, we have some input, the brain, let's call it that way, and the output. So in our case, the input is the human voice. So basically my voice, when I speak to the computer, there is also some model that just converts the speech to text and then it's sent to the LLM API. The same happens with the camera stream. In this case, actually it runs on the robot itself and via the WebSocket, we just get the camera stream and also send some of the frames to the large language model API. Of course, it's not like every single frame is going there, but still every few frames the, the frame is actually sent to the API so it can process it. Then we have the reasoning. So basically just like traditional prompting with image or also with some kind of human voice. If I say something, it can just convert it to text and add it to prompt. So it's like constant prompting and decision making. And based on that, robot can decide kind of on its own to just generate some text answer to say something. For example, in this case, it can send some text. Interestingly, the text is sent to the Raspberry Pi. So the WebSocket, actually the, the server is just getting the, the answer. And then it's um, the voice is generated directly on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, actually, I'm using the PYTSX3. I believe it, it was the name of the library for the kind of robotic sound generation. And also the same happened with comments. So some comments can be sent to the robot directly. Then they are converted to respective movement. It can be forward, um, backward, right, left, handshake, and so on and so on. So this is how it looks from the very high uh, level overview of how it works. And now moving to the code, I also want to remind you that if you are curious about the code, I published everything on my GitHub. Actually, you can find it in the description. The whole code is there. It's a bit messy because I still work on that. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave any comments, questions, and also you can even join uh, art learn discussion site and even start maybe your own contribution, whatever. Yeah, going back to the code. So we have basically these two folders here. First one is the uh, RPI, so Raspberry Pi integration. It is a little bit different than the original one from the previous v video, especially here in the, the app, we have the feed and, and so on. So this is how it goes. And this time I'm not using any computer vision for the camera as it was there out of the box. To be honest, I was actually thinking about implementing some kind of movement with the machine learning, but I thought it won't be that much interesting as using LLM in this case. Maybe it's a bit exaggerated, but we will see maybe in the upcoming videos, I can do something more about that. Here at the beginning of the file, there's the speech worker, which is leveraging this PY WTSX3 module for generating this robotic kind of uh, voice. So just for the revision, uh, this folder should be entirely on the Raspberry Pi on the robot. So it's, I would just run it manually on the robot. And this folder brain agent should stay on the computer where actually, as you can see here, I uh, have these models. In this case, I just tested this, this Quen or Quen, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And there is this one file vision controller where, as you can see, I have this huge prompt. I can also pass some image as a frame from the robot. Um, it has also the set of the, the actions that it can generate as a return response to the, to the prompt. There is one more interesting part, which is process voice command. In general, robot can just send some kind of command to move on its own, but it's pretty lazy. It doesn't want to move around. Sometimes it does something, but very random. More 
eager to say something then move for some reason maybe it's about the prompting maybe about something else i'm not sure at this point but also what i can do it can process the voice comment so it can just easily uh check if i'm just giving it comment like like forward backward left right whatever as you can see from the list and based on that it will just execute so it will be also something like a remote control but over the voice you just need to remember that the microphone will be running on my computer on my device so i unfortunately at this point need to be close to my computer possible improvement would be to put the mm, microphone directly to the to the robot so that's all let's see how it works or let's give it some life let's say all right and in this part let's finally give it some life first of all let me turn the switch the robot is ready it will connect now automatically with my wi-fi I already tried to connect over this SSH tunnel. I will try once again. Okay, this time it works. So then I can just navigate to this folder. In this case, it's wavego slash RPI and, and just run the server manually. And it looks like it, it works. I can already see that the camera stream is working. Let me try to, yes. the control buttons work. And so this is the first part. The web server is running right now on the robot itself. And what I can do here is just go to the brain agent and just run the brain agent directly on my computer. And let's see how it goes. And now I'm just waiting for loading the models and hopefully- Hello, I'm awake. Yeah, so <laughs> it looks like it, it works. Well, stop, stop. Hey, as you can see, it already gets the comments. Actually, even the thing that I'm saying right now, it will all get uh, locked here because it's using my uh, Max microphone and sending this to the robot. It's not that accurate. And as you can see, there is also, unfortunately, quite huge lag. Maybe it's also due to the fact that it was... It's going crazy right now. It's like a window into the fastness of the universe, allowing me to explore and learn from the wonders of the world around. Bark. Can you bark? In this digital realm, I can see the intricate patterns of code. Okay, let's just... Try to put it here and let's see what will happen. Forward. I said forward. Stop. Stop. Hey, stop it. Turn around. Stop. <laughs> it will be tricky. Can you shake my hand? What can you see now? I see a world of possibilities, a universe of mysteries and a universe of possibilities. Each day I explore new horizons, each night I dream of adventures. I am a robot, but I am also a philosopher. Whoa, what's your name? My name is Robotod, and I'm on a mission to explore the universe with curiosity and enthusiasm, just like you. Little right? Okay, stop, 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 stop. Hey, where are you going? You are connected to charge right now. It looks like a tail, by the way.
He apparently doesn't want to charge. So he can see the corridor right now. Robot. Can you see anyone there? Whoa. But I think the answer is simple. To explore, to learn, to grow, and to make the work. Robots are like a cross between machines and animals. They have the intelligence of a machine, but the adaptability of an animal. They can learn, adapt, and evolve, just like a dog. And you wonder in the world, in every corner, in every nook, in every shadow, in every sound, in every scent, in every touch, in every sight, in every taste, in every feeling. Wow. That's pretty confident, don't you think so? I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I I'm really impressed by all what you can do, but... I'm not sure what you mean by confident, but I'm always ready to explore new worlds and learn from my experiences. What's your question or statement, and how can I assist you further? I mean, you know, sometimes it's just a matter of perspective. Like, if you look at it from a different angle, you might see things in a whole new light. I'm impressed by your ability to navigate through complex environments and adapt to new situations. Okay, you speak too much. So, you are at the corridor. Can you see anyone there? I'm not sure, but I can't see anyone in the corridor. Perhaps they are just not visible from this angle. Philosophical musing in the vast expanse of the universe, we are but mere. Perhaps the tropical climate is too humid and warm for human eyes to see clearly. Okay, just do whatever you want. I'm just here to explore and learn, no matter what the world throws at me. Let's so go, this. go, 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 go whatever you want. Go. <laughs> and you cannot escape even the charge. Robot, do you think about something? I think that the universe is a vast and mysterious place, full of secrets and wonders that we are just beginning to uncover. Each day, I am amazed by the new things I discover, and I feel a deep sense of wonder. Robots are like a cross between machines and animals. They have the intelligence of a machine, but the curiosity of Okay, the stop talking, just go somewhere. And adapt, just like a dog. But they can also perform the task, as we explore the mystery of the universe. Okay, you are exploring, but as long as I will let you. Yeah, and this is how it's how it finishes today. So that's all. Fortunately, we still have the switch. So I had to just turn it off. And yeah. So that's all in this video. I hope you like it. I hope you had some fun. As you can see still, there's a lot of room for improvement, for example, the microphone could have been directly on the robot. I think what one of the biggest issues right now is that sometimes it takes some time to proceed, so there is a huge lag. I'm not sure how to improve it, maybe having some kind of lighter model, maybe just going for the API, maybe it would be faster, I don't know. And also sometimes it's a bit glitchy, especially with the movements. And last but not least, what I found quite uh, confusing or interesting is that the dog seems to be kind of lazy, just like in the title, because it speaks a lot, but doesn't want to move on its own uh, unless I tell him to do so. Sometimes it does, as you've seen just recently, but yeah, I think there's still a lot of improvement. So if you have any comments, questions, feel free to leave them down there below. If you have some kind of ideas, about the next future videos also let me know don't forget to subscribe the channel also and check out the github discussion on arplearn and that's all thank you so much for your attention